Kate. And Jones. What's happening? Not much. What's up with you? I need you. No. Your phone's ringing. Very needed. It's very busy right now. Yes. Is it not? It is. What have you been up to today? Just showing houses and signing stuff around. What about you? Living the realtor life, right? Oh, it's just all vacations and poolside. Ah, sewer inspections. Mm, I love sewer inspections. Yeah, actually, I do too. Necessary evil? Yes, actually. Um, you want to talk about sewer inspections today? Do you want to talk about sewer inspections today? I want to talk about sewer inspections. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, one of the most important things that we do, right? Yeah, and, and it's something process. that people don't really know. I mean, you come from Gig Harbor. I come from out in the county. We have septic tanks out there. Like, what's, yep. what, what could possibly go wrong with a sewer? What couldn't go wrong with a sewer? You know what's <laughs> gone wrong with a sewer lately? Mm -hmm. On houses that I've had, let's see, they've had roots growing in them. Yes. Um, they've had backflow valves attached to them, so we couldn't send the camera down the line. Oh, what is a sewer inspection? A sewer inspection is when um, somebody comes out and they have a little wheel thing and some paper towels and they <laughs> run the camera down the sewer line and it gets covered in poos and it goes all the way down and they take a video of the sewer line. And then if they find something, they put a little radar flag showing you where that is. So like if the sewer line is maybe misaligned and there's tissue paper and stuff stuck on it and like the poos are getting backed up, like they'll flag that so it can be. Well, they do a little locate, like with a metal detector, yeah, so you can yeah. see where the line runs out. Truth Why? be told, sewer inspections are one of my favorite things to do as a real estate agent. Well, they're uh, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. You've seen some amazing things. I've, I've never seen, seen a rat. I've always wanted to see a rat. I want to unsee some of the things <laughs> that I've seen in sewer inspections, but I recommend that all my clients do them on homes with sewers, and really even newer homes, yeah. because bad stuff happens. Sewer lines get crushed by tractors working in the yard, landscaping happening. I've had roots grow in ABS, so the plastic lines, which you think, oh, if it's all sealed, it's a new a new sewer line, there won't be a problem. I had a new, to the tune of about $20,000 sewer line um, at my seller's house that after it closed, the new buyer had a backup almost immediately. And it's always like the week after close. Absolutely. It's like the line hasn't been used in a while, and you know the seller had no idea there was a problem, and then the buyer moves in, and there's and poops in the basement. Wait, wait. <laughs> but there weren't poops in the basement before, and that's the thing, is that the sellers truly and honestly Maybe say, didn't use it very much. But, but yeah. in most cases, they say, I never had any problem, and they really never yeah. had any problem with it. Well, and I've heard the sewer guy say things like, you know, you have a little old lady living in the house and she flushes the toilet three times a day and it's not a big deal and suddenly you've got parents and four kids and there's, you know, massive amounts of TP going down and like something that where, you know, little old ladies, you know, refuse could get through there no problem. Like an entire family's poos are too much for the system but to bear. The opposite can actually cause problems with the sewer line, which is if a house sits vacant, for instance, and there are shrubs and trees and things growing around in the yard that roots are seeking water, and yeah, so that's true. they start crawling into the line, that's how they get there in the first place, and so you didn't have a problem before, and now they're suddenly snaked into your line. And that's not always bad, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you've got roots Just growing in the trim line... Trim them back. What's the remedy? Yep. Is it a good trim? A good a good trim. Okay. Or I, I hear now that they're putting powders down in the summertime into the toilets and flushing the powders, and uh, it so kills the, the things. The uh, herbicide goes down the line mm -hmm. and kills the uh, roots. What's one of the other failures that you've seen in a sewer inspection? You were talking about joints. Yeah, well, right. with a plastic line, like that's joints. something that can happen is where they kind of slip or they were never lined up properly to begin with. But me, I work a lot in the low end uh, price-wise and in the south end, and we have a lot of concrete lines. And according to my sewer guy, they last like 80 years or so until they start to sort of disintegrate. So what you have is actually you're scoping the line, and the next thing you know, like you're scraping a tunnel of dirt. And that is why it's so important to get an inspection. Well, and concrete is not just uh, found regionally. It's A lot of it is the age of the homes. Mm -hmm. And so you'll find clay and concrete in the older homes. Sometimes in the 60s, one of the reasons I always recommend sewer inspections is there's a product called Orangeburg. Right, that was like about. the papery stuff, right? That was, yeah, this fibrous material that just has a, a very finite lifespan, and it will fail at some point. And fail. then we have the ABS lines, the plastic lines, which you hope your house has. So there's a lot of reasons to go down. Uh, the concrete lines often blow out at a 90 degree turn, right? Mm -hmm. Right. From the water rushing and eroding mm -hmm. the concrete. It's like the Grand Canyon, but it's happening in your sewer. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we should talk about how much this costs. Mm, because people freak out about sewer lines. That's <laughs> one of the reasons you want to have a scope. But it's also one of those things like, oh, doesn't a sewer line cost $10,000? But it doesn't always. It doesn't always. And most importantly, the inspection, you know, the sewer line might cost $10,000. The inspection costs bucks, right? Yes. 
you know, and that's that's the whole thing is, you know, it, it is kind of a pain and like a lot of times when people are moving and when they're maybe if you're buying your first house, it's like you don't have a lot of money laying around, but it is worth it to take a look at what's down under for a couple of hundred bucks so you don't have poops in the basement. So it only costs three hundred and fifty dollars or four hundred somewhere in there usually three four hundred to have your home inspection, and if you consider when a sewer line costs for replacement another two hundred bucks is money very well spent. And Absolutely. If you're lucky, you'll have a real fancy DVD that you can watch afterwards and show all your friends. And yeah, just have like a sewer watching party. 